Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today we're going to be talking about a watch. So I have always loved watches. I've always worn a watch. I've had quite a few watches over the years. I've had one in my early 20s. I had um, a couple of fossil watches. I still have them, but they're dead and I haven't bothered replacing the batteries and the watch straps. I've lost the extra lengths. I've gotten too fat, so they don't fit my wrist anymore. Um, I've had a couple of watches from Tokyo Flash. There are the LED watches. They're kind of a puzzle watch. They're kind of hard to read. Uh, most recently, the watch I bought myself um, has been this Seiko. It is, let me get up close to the camera, it is a Pokemon watch. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, it is a very limited edition. Mine is number 58 of 700, imported from Japan. So, beautiful watch. I feel like you can see it very clearly in the camera, but I'm recording this at 4K and I'm holding it at a perfect angle. Uh, it's a fairly understated watch, just looks really nice. Uh, you probably have seen this watch in quite a few of my videos. I try to wear it all the time. I really like it. But I'm so I'm not like a huge crazy like I own a bunch of watches worth twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Um, this was uh, less. This is like four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, my other watches combined, I think, cost less than five hundred dollars total. Uh, but I wanted something new. Um, this is a very heavy watch. Um, I like it, but it is pretty heavy. I want something a little bit lighter um, to wear, and especially when I'm doing videos or, or other work. And so um, I have seen these Mr. Jones watches for quite some time on some of the, like on the watch subreddit. And I really liked them, but nothing stood out to me as like, this is the one I have to have until this one came along. Show you. You here so what this is i'm gonna do the strap here see mr jones watch mjw this is an ophelia by joshua obeying botang and they're made in london and it is a quartz watch not mechanical and how you tell the time on this is through the fish so the fish that's under there, that is the hour, and the fish here is the minute. And what I did is they both kind of have a fin sticking out, and that's what I'm using to point to the time. So this is 11.45, 46, something like that. Um, obviously, this does not have any kind of date complication on it. Um, it's just telling the time and of that. It doesn't even do that very well just because it is a fairly busy watch with a lot going on. Uh, a couple things about this watch. First of all, it is significantly lighter than my Seiko. Um, I want to say it's like half the weight. At least it feels like it's half the weight on my wrist and in my hand. Um, the time on it's a little hard to tell at a quick glance. Not because it's hard to like read the fish. Like that's not the hard part. But as you can see, the hour fish tends to hide under some of the decorations there. And same with the minute fish. So if the minute fish is under these flowers, I can't really see them, and the hour fish um, also hides under some of those. That being said, though, this is a piece of jewelry as much as it is anything else. So I don't really mind. Um, if I really need to know what time it is, I 99.9% .9 of the time have my phone on me, which has a more accurate time. This is really just because I think it looks nice, stands out, and is a bit flash. Um, I like the bracelet on it, so I haven't had this type of bracelet before on a watch. It is adjustable, so uh, you can flip up this right here. So I'm doing this around the camera, it's hard to see. You flip that up and then it slides, and you flip it back down, lock it into place, which now I'm going to have to do this later and actually fit it to my wrist. But um, So you can have it be adjustable. This strap also breathes pretty good. That's one thing I definitely like about it is um, I don't feel like my arm gets quite as sweaty with this band as it does with this band if I'm working outside or whatever. It does have a sapphire crystal. I will never own a watch again that does not have a sapphire crystal. I am not nice to this watch. Like I said, I wear it basically every single day um, up until recently when I bought this one. But it it's crystal is absolutely perfect i bang it around knocking the walls i've worn it when working on cars you can tell the band has gotten 
scratches on it. So, you know, I wear it. This is a daily driver watch and that crystal is perfect. I will never own a watch without a sapphire crystal and this has a sapphire crystal. So big, big bonus for me on this one. Uh, band is comfortable. The one thing I'm kind of sad about is I don't know what the finish is, but despite this one being a watch I wear every single day, like on the back here, there's no scratches or anything on it. Whereas this one, let me wipe this so it's easier to see. Got when I bought it, didn't have any scratches in it. Then, like the first time, you can see it has all these little scratches. It might just be that it's this polish on here, but it scratched like immediately, immediately. <laughs> it had scratches in it, which disappointed me. Uh, nobody's going to see that because that's against your wrist. Um, and what they do see doesn't have scratches on it. I just, it annoyed me. Like, I pulled it out of the box, looked at it, put it on, took it off, and then there was a scratch in it. Annoying, annoying, annoying. But, I don't know, it was about $250. Uh, free shipping, no tax from UK. I don't think I paid tax. So it was, like, right at two, like two forty nine ninety five dollars 95 or something like that. Um, and it just is really nice looking. So if you're looking to buy one of these, I wouldn't hesitate if it is something that speaks to you. It definitely is a fashion item it's a piece of jewelry more than it is a watch and so you're not gonna this isn't an investment this isn't a um you know this isn't this isn't a rolex you know you're not paying rolex prices you're paying for something that's fun and interesting and different and i think i definitely think you are getting that value out of it it's nicely made nicely finished um and looks really good and something i don't think anybody would be embarrassed to have on their watch on their wrist another thing about the mr jones watch is mine came and i'm sure they all come in this really nice uh packaging so this is the outer box slides off this is the inner box uh, the back of the watch shows through here so you can see which one it is um, i'm assuming that all the mr jones watches have their name there on the back so you can see what it is through the hole which lines up with that hole and you open this up and Mr. Jones watches. You have the card on the inside with what it is. Data down here and embossed. Um, again, this is not a limited edition watch. I don't know how many it'll make. They're not serialized in any way um, that I could see. So again, I'm, I didn't buy this as an investment. I bought this because I liked it and I want to wear it and I do wear it. And I would be wearing it right now, <laughs> except for I'm making the video on it. So anyways, very nice watch, very nice looking watch. Uh, the box is really nicely thought out. It really makes you feel like you're buying something special, um, which, you know, when you're buying something and it comes in a cheap box, it comes with um, terrible accessories, or whatever, you don't feel like um, your money is valued by the company you're giving it to, you know, not appreciated. And it's nice to know that uh, the company appreciates you giving them money and they do that by having some nice things that go along with the product you're buying so anyways if you have any thoughts or questions leave that in the comment section down below i'll do my best to answer thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day